This week, the star of Saturday Night Live, if you can call it that, or SNL, a former comedy show, was Adam Driver from Star Wars. You remember Star Wars, right? It used to be great. And then it got bought by Disney. And with the exception of maybe The Mandalorian's first couple of episodes and Rogue One, absolutely everything else that the mouse has put out under the Star Wars banner has been a bunch of feminist, misandrist, woke garbage. It's divided the fan base and cost Disney millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. Everybody knows that at this point, right? Well, the years have not been very kind, of course, to the Disney Star Wars lineup, especially the first two numbered movies that they put out, The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, which have aged not so much like a fine wine as a two-week-old hamburger rotting and molding in the trash somewhere. Still, Adam Driver has managed to conjure up the two maggot-infested corpses and parade them around again for what seems to be a dig at the fans. Always a smart decision there. He says he didn't kill Han Solo. Wokeness killed Han Solo. You get it? You get it? It sounds like he might be actually saying what we say. But of course, it's just an insult to us. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. Consider clicking the like button if you're enjoying what I'm doing so far and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to support me. Thank you very much. Over here then to Cosmic Book News with a headline, Wokeness Killed Han Solo Jokes Driver on SNL. Adam Driver hosted Saturday Night Live where his opening montage, he joked that wokeness killed Harrison Ford's Han Solo. Now, we all remember the scene, of course, in The Force Awakens, uh, back when we were all stupid enough to think that it was going to go okay and that Disney wasn't going to stuff up Star Wars. Well, actually, to be quite honest with you, until I saw that movie, I was very, very nervous. And then I saw the movie and I thought, hey, that was pretty good. The only thing I really, really hated about it was the fact that Han Solo had been killed in such a pathetic way. I didn't particularly like the fact that the main three characters never appeared together at any point either. And, well, actually, as the years have gone on, I've now come to really hate that movie. Because... Once you start actually looking at it, rather than just going, oh, no, no, Star Wars, you realize that there are massive gaping holes everywhere in the plot. An obvious feminist agenda pushed in. Men are stupid, incompetent. Han Solo, a decorated general, becomes a deadbeat dad and then gets easily killed by his son. His son is, a, is an emo, half dark half light wannabe darth vader oh shit this god it's awful and of course the last jedi was even worse because that actively insulted the fans and ryan johnson basically just made a movie that was there to fuck with the fans and and annoy us all congratulations you dealt one of the biggest most unbearably disappointing blows in the entire culture war the only one that rivals it, surpasses it, in fact, is probably Doctor Who. But anyway, Adam Driver hosted Saturday Night Live, where his opening montage, he joked that wokeness killed Harrison Ford's Han Solo. The actor played by the son of Han Solo, wait, played the son of Han Solo, Kylo Ren, yeah, Ben Solo, in Star Wars The Force Awakens, a scene in the movie where blah blah blah, Kylo Ren stabs his father in the stomach with a lightsaber and kills him. But then he comes back as a ghost, despite not having the Force. In the third movie, which we don't even talk about. I've never even seen it. I never, ever watched anything from Star Wars ever again after The Last Jedi. I just didn't. Apart from random clips that might be relevant to something that I'm actually talking about. Oh wait, I did watch a couple episodes of The Mandalorian. But movies? Hell no. And that's why they stopped making them too, because the Disney trilogy destroyed Star Wars. It's been proven. It's actually been proven in court on the Chris Gore's channel. I'm so excited to be back, he said, when he came back to SNL, and I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday, the food, the music, the family, but largely because I have a deep and personal connection with Santa. It's, it, it was a cute little thing. He sits and plays the piano, and he makes 
for, for no reason, just to show off, of course. And then he uh, gives a Christmas list of things that he wants. And one of the things that he asks uh, for, besides a pair of chinos and a Tesla for his teeny tiny micro penis, is that he said uh, he would like people to stop coming up to him on the street and saying, you killed Han Solo. He said, I didn't kill Han Solo. Wokeness killed Han Solo. Now, try as I might, I haven't really been able to find anybody commenting on this quite yet. It's been kind of strange. Normally, people would be all over this, um, backing it up or tearing it down, depending on your perspective. But it seems maybe that people are just a little bit confused here, because uh, I've seen a few people on Twitter saying, uh, oh yeah, well, you know, Wokeness killed Han Solo. He's right. He agrees with us. He's absolutely right. Wokeness has destroyed everything in Star Wars, which is we, we know is objectively true. We know this. It's not something that can be up for debate, really, because it's so blatantly obvious by the law of diminishing returns. Deal with it. It's woke. It's going broke. That's just what it is. But this is Adam Driver, the Hollywood celebrity, an actor who wants to work in Hollywood again. There is absolutely no freaking way that he believes wokeness killed Han Solo. It doesn't actually even make any sense, if you think about it. Because there wasn't actually anything woke about the death of Han Solo. It was just stupid. Stupid, stupid writing. There was no wokeness. There was no racial or sexual, you know tone that was applied in anything to do with the death of Han Solo. Han Solo was just an idiot. He behaved completely out of character, allowed himself to be killed, and fell off a bridge, because mostly because we know Harrison Ford hates playing Han Solo and didn't want to do it anymore. Still came back for that third one, though, didn't you? Hmm. Anyway, no. This is, of course, nonsense. Wokeness did not kill Han Solo. It killed Star Wars, but it definitely didn't just kill Han Solo. And Adam Driver here is obviously making a joke about the fact that people like me and people like most of you in my comments are constantly bitching about the fact that Wokeness killed Star Wars. Because that is obviously true and provable. So, yeah, no, this is not, this is not based Adam Driver. It's... Adam Driver taking the piss out of you. And if you don't believe me, let's go to Saltier Than Crate, the uh, infamous woke Star Wars subreddit, where we'll see uh, various things here. Adam Driver makes fun of alt-right Star Wars fans and YouTubers in SNL monologue. I would like people to stop coming up to me, blah, blah, blah. You killed Han Solo, woke this killed Han Solo. It's an appreciation post. Most people here are um, discussing this, and it says, I, a real human from Earth, apparently, could have fooled me, says, the gar uh, they guarantee the joke will be lost on them, i.e. me, and you, probably, and think he's taking their side. Ironically, this happened with South Park joining the Pandaverse with a bunch of conservative and alt-right. Alt-right? What does that even fucking mean, you weirdos? Star Wars fans unironically agreeing with Eric Cartman. Well, that's because, unfortunately, at a certain point, the world has become so insane that Eric Cartman actually has become the voice of fucking reason. And this is the fault of people like this on this damned webpage right here. Siding with Eric Cartman is like an immediate media literacy failure. But these guys are the guys who idolize Tyler Durden, the Joker, Rick Sanchez. It's, it's ETC, etc. Fool. Homelander, Imperium of War in Warhammer... Uh, him, Imperium of War. Imperium of Man in Warhammer 40k. I stand by my opinion the best thing that could happen to 40k is the heat death of the universe. I haven't played 40k since I was about 13 years old, so I really don't care about that. But, uh, of course, they just go in here and just constantly slag off people who are, you know, graced with a little bit more common sense than they are. And then they just go on and on and on and on and on about Warhammer. So, you know, this kind of got hijacked and turned into, uh, into a Warhammer post showing just how little people actually give a shit about, about Adam Driver. Someone here says, It's so funny that some people see Cartman as the person that Matt and Trey are speaking through when Stan and Kyle are right there. 
Well, the reality here, unfortunately, is the fact that uh, every character in South Park has had a point. And Cartman has, on occasion, been reasonable. More reasonable than the others in certain episodes since around, jeez, series 9, 10, maybe earlier. Now, of course, we also know that Eric Cartman idolized Hitler. So, you know, that's why they can say this. But the reality here is that they're just trying to sit around and take the piss out of you. Adam Driver is taking the piss out of you. Hollywood, SNL, they all think they're so fucking funny and that they're just taking the piss out of us. Thing is, we're the ones who don't pay to see the movies. We're the ones who don't go, don't interact with them, constantly mock them. And at the end of the day, you can't beat us because we can just ignore you. So that's what we're doing. And that's why Star Wars is dead. It's why Doctor Who is dead. It's why Disney is dying. Well, that and a 9,000 female lawsuit. And it's the reason that wokeness is less popular than it's ever been since it appeared on the scene in the mainstream six or seven, maybe ten or twelve years ago now, if you're including Comicsgate and Gamergate. You're never going to win because you don't know how. Anyway, that's what I think about it. Let me know what you think in the uh, comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Will of the Fans if you'd like to see some more of me because I'd like to see some more of you. I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, question everything and I'll see you next time.